Does your home have an uninvited guest? Look closely down in the carpet fibers and you may find the larvae of our next contender. They won't suck your blood. They're perfectly happy feeding on lint, dead skin cells, and the dry droppings left behind by mom and dad. Eventually, it will spin a sticky cocoon that picks up dirt and debris to make a perfectly camouflaged bunker. It can lie here dormant for a year or more, waiting for a host to arrive. Then, vibrations on the floorboard signal that it's feeding time for the animal that's number two in the countdown. The flea has very limited eyesight. Instead, sense organs on its antenna detect movement and increased concentrations of carbon dioxide that signal that a host is nearby. Then, it's time to show why, relative to their body length, fleas are the best jumpers on the planet. A flea can jump 150 times its body length. That's like a human leaping over 200 meters. But the flea is number two in the countdown because its blood-sucking abilities are just as impressive. Its mouth is made up of two scalpel-like blades with four rows of teeth that stab the skin to release the flow of blood. And the flea keeps on biting long after its hunger is satisfied. It uses the excess blood to make tasty droppings for its larvae to live on in the carpet. And since the flea is feeding for its family, it can end up drinking 15 times its own weight in blood. No wonder we've looked for ways of getting the bloodthirsty flea out of our houses. And our best weapon is the vacuum cleaner. Vacuuming sucks up flea eggs and larvae so effectively that in Northern Europe, the human flea is now more commonly found in the nests of alternate hosts, like badgers and foxes, than in our houses. Unfortunately, there's no such simple solution to thwart our final terrifying bloodsucker. <laughs> <laughs>